Here are five reasons why you should choose the ESP32 S2 for your next electronics project. I've been using these boards for quite a while. I like them so much, I even have a coffee tin full of them right behind me. Biggest reason is the cost. The cost of these are roughly $2 USD each. Um, and at that price, I pretty much order them 10 at a time or a dozen at a time because I oftentimes are, am gonna be working on a prototype and it's gonna be messy and I'm gonna make mistakes and I'm gonna need a backup board uh, so that way I don't have to wait. To get them at around $2 each, you do probably have to order them uh, overseas from China, um, but it is a great bang for your buck. And I like the good old hacker mentality of two is one and one is none. But it brings us into number two. It has plenty and plenty of in and out pins. This guy has 32 pins, uh, 27 which uh, are attached to GPIOs, and uh, all of them are pulse width modulated, uh, so you can use them to do I2C, I2S, uh, SPI, serial, pretty much whatever you want to get your hands on. Um, oftentimes, e these Internet of Things boards usually did not have very many ADCs, if any. This one has 20, um, only 16 of which are actually connected to header pins, but 16 usually is plenty. It, there are also two D ACs on here. Uh, it brings us to our next point of power. The ESP32 is powerful. Not just power when it comes to processing at 240 megahertz, up to 240 megahertz. Uh, it has two megabytes of SPI RAM with four, me four megabytes of flash memory built in. And this is the ESP32 S2 Mini by Wemos has built in low power mode. So you can squeeze more time out of your battery. With power mode and being an Internet of Things device, the, the big question is, it, it of course was built for this purpose of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. I've tested this in lots of scenarios and for being an inexpensive board, it can do quite a few things. Of course, it's only $2, so if you want to do some advanced networking, you might run into some memory issues. It does have, like I said again, four megabytes of flash memory and two megabytes of PS RAM, but uh, that only gets you so far when it comes to connectivity. That brings me to my final point, the ease of use. Um, this comes with the firmware for CircuitPython built in. It's compatible with MicroPython. It's also compatible with Arduino. So you can program this uh, and maybe whatever is most comfortable for you. I really enjoy MicroPython myself because Python is just pretty smooth for me. Not being a programmer by, uh, by trade, I am a network person. So I do like the fact that these are pretty darn versatile. So those are my five reasons why I recommend an ESP32 S2 for your next project. At this price, you can't really beat it. So if you're looking for something to start a project and you don't want to break the bank, I suggest ESP32 S2. And they are actually more than capable uh, for most things that I've been able to throw at it. And with that, I will leave you to it. If you want to learn more about some of my other projects, please like or follow. And uh, have a great day.